Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode, Day 41 of my Let's Clash series. So currently at Day 41, we're going to get to Town Hall 9 as mentioned on the video title. So uh, Town Hall 9 is just a, just a couple of minutes as you guys will see. I've already reached to Town Hall 9 because uh, usually whenever I do my videos, it's usually like one day after I've done my recording because I need like around a few hours to actually do the editing. Uh, of course, I do not want to stress myself out to uh, do the editing right after I do the recording. So of course, I'll use one day to actually do the recording and then do the ed editing too. So um, I know some of you guys have already uh, messaged me and said to me, hey, I've already reached to Town 9, this and that, and want me to show some uh, attacking replays of how I actually farm for Town 9. So currently all the replays that you guys are still going to watch right now for this episode are still farming for Town 8 until the later part of the video as you guys will actually see. So now going ahead to actually uh, upgrade my walls right now. I'm trying to get them most of them to uh, level 8 before I proceed on to the next level. But I'm trying to save some of the walls definitely. Of course, I'll receive 25 more extra walls once I reach to Town Hall 9 so that I could actually uh, manage my cost as mentioned in my previous episodes of how to use up all my gold efficiently. As for Elixir, I won't be able to control them using the walls because the walls will actually cost 1 million Elixir minimum to upgrade them to the next level. So they ain't like those kind of uh, 1000 or in fact those 10,000 uh, Elixir upgrade for walls. So not to worry, but definitely we're going to uh, do something about it. So going ahead now, you saw I removed a gem box and also a I got 6 gems from that trunk and then going ahead to upgrade my Dark Elixir storage because I need some more Dark Elixir capacity because I'm going to farm Dark Elixir soon so I'm going to prepare for it and of course I'm going to uh, upgrade the Dark Elixir drill too so the Dark Elixir drill they are really important to upgrade so I'll talk about that later on so carry on with this uh, attack as you can see with a lot of loot available definitely going to go for it because it's not a very difficult base to attack but of course it's not too easy to if you guys look carefully at the storages especially in the middle where the elixir storages are they are not pretty easy to access but not to worry i mean i just have to take out the gold mines we are which are all on the outskirts of the base and now left with like a few more barbarians and a handful of archers i'm just gonna go ahead to clear out the outside first and uh, just slowly make my way into the two more gold mines over there not gonna rush my way just gonna drop two archers on that two builders hut over them so that i could actually clear out those uh, uh, exposed structures so that later my troops do not get attracted and distracted towards those uh, structures but yeah going ahead to drop my clan castle now the wizard is going to come out to take out the gold mine gold mine is going to go down pretty soon with just a few shots of the wizards as now you can see the gold mine have gone down and now carrying on to drop a rage belt which kind of is a, a fail because i wanted to get the second gold mine but then my wizards went down really quick as, as i didn't have a giant in my clan castle so yeah, that was a fail on my part, but not to worry, we're going to do some more awesome raids later as now you can see I, I'm having, uh, I'm being attacked by this guy and I had only 57,000 gold available for him. I mean, if it's going to take my elixir, I'm not too worried about it because currently I'm still Town Hall 8, as you can see my Town Hall over there. And uh, the elixir ain't too important for me. Of course, I'm still saving up for elixir for my Town Hall 9, which you guys are going to see in just a couple of seconds. So now as you can see, he's going to use some barbarians, not some, but all barbarians, mass barbarians in fact, to come and attack my base. So all barbarians isn't too good. I mean, his archers have already gone down. So it's basically like a kind of like a mass barbarian raid right now with uh, just heal spells. And dropping a rage spell and now he's going to have a hard time trying to even get the two storages over there on the left and the right. Managed to take out one of the storage on the left side, of course, with the whole group of the barbarian over there and the right side too. But I don't think he's going to break his way into the base and take out any of the rest of the other storages. And now his king has went all the way around the whole base on the outside on the top over there. As now I zoom out, you guys can actually see the Barbarian King is going around the whole base, not going into the core of the base. So the thing is, he didn't uh, use any wall breaker, so he had some problem to actually break through the base. And now going hit my very own attack, this guy had, uh, had so much go on him and also he didn't have a leak. Uh, and the Somo is almost the end of the season for the league so it's really like 13 days into the league so this guy was can say he's very inactive not not very inactive but super inactive to the extent whereby he's not even doing a single attack up to the extent whereby you can even see that he's 
uh, collectors are so full and uh, in fact there are even tombstones over there on the base so of course this guy didn't even come online to clear his tombstones at all so going ahead to steal all his uh, resources um, I mean this is the kind of thing that actually happens whereby we find this kind of dead bases and we just have to go for it to go ahead to attack this kind of dead bases I mean if you're actually going to quick clash um, I would think that it would be really awesome if you actually put your loot outside as to put it at one corner and your defenses at one side I would really do that if I really were to quit playing Clash totally so that I would allow people to actually get the resources and then not have a problem getting the resources especially for my defenses attacking them and now you can see I've gotten the Dark Elixir Drill the first Dark Elixir Drill to level 1 good upgrade it to level 2 which will require 2 days so I'm trying to get my Dark Elixir Drill as high as a uh, level as possible which is the max level will be level 6 as now you can see I've gotten 20 gems from the achievement and now in 10 seconds 9, 8, 7, we're going to be a tower 9, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and tower hall 9. So we're going to reach to tower hall 10 once we have maxed most of our defenses. That's one. And of course, getting the heroes to a higher level. So I'm not going to rush my tower hall right now because tower hall 9 has really a lot of things to farm. That's one. And of course, there's also the heroes to farm. So I really want to focus a lot of my time on Town Hall 9. Maybe going to spend like a 2 or 3 months here. Hopefully be able to get my heroes to around level 20 or almost to level 30. So that I could actually uh, use them uh, once I have actually gotten them to a higher level. I know it's pretty hard to get them to level uh, 30. Uh, but then I know it takes quite a bit of time to actually get them to even level 30. So once they reach to level 20 in my wars. I'm confident enough that they will probably be max, maybe a lava walls, all lava walls, and then I'll have to upgrade the uh, town hall already to town hall 10. So now, as you can see, I'm gonna upgrade a few of my walls which I have already saved up for my elixir. Now, I'm going to upgrade them using the gold first. So, I'm not gonna rush my way, I'm gonna upgrade them slowly, step by step. So, upgrading the walls with elixir is totally awesome because I'm not gonna have any overflowing gold right now. So, we're gonna get more storages, just the storages just for fun so that my building's account will actually increase. So, I won't upgrade these storages right now because um, I don't wanna spend the time upgrading all these storages because uh, having just 6 million gold and also 4 million elixir capacity is relatively enough for me right now but I will definitely upgrade them soon enough getting the next hidden tesla, the second hidden tesla in fact which will actually take one day to complete so why I did the upgrade was because I was trying to control my time control my time and manage my time so that my builders do not clash in terms of their uh, finish timing so going ahead to do raids right now and of course as a tower 9 your loot penalty has increased especially towards a town hall 8 right now I have a 90% loot available for me to loot only whereas compared to previously when I was still a town hall 8 I could actually steal 100% of the loot so yeah the 10% uh, loot penalty although it may not seem a lot but of course it does affect if you will actually accumulate up uh, in total for example if you were to do 100 raids and 100 raids each of them are like 200,000 gold raids so 100 of that will be a total of 20 million 10% reduction from that is a total of 2 million reduction of uh, your goal so it really does affect if you actually if you actually uh, count it in that way so yeah I mean I won't be uh, too bothersome about it because I've already farmed my uh, main account to uh, max town hall 10 so of course playing at Town Hall 9 is going to be easy for me and also taking into consideration that the loot is really awesome right now. I mean these few days after the uh, matchmaking update that uh, Supercell has changed, I'm pretty sure a lot of people have been finding crazy loots even for me at this moment. Now as you can see this uh, attack you can see is really high in loot and of course I made a mistake whereby I went to do a search and I was trying to snipe Town Hall. I didn't bring enough troops with me but I was bring, being really cautious as not to spend all my troops and use all my troops so I had to uh, play it really well as now you can see I stole most of the resources and going back to my base getting 50 gems from completing another of the achievement and getting a total of 188 gems right now so like what I say in my previous episode I'm trying to stock up gems so that I could actually use them in emergency situation such as when I need to farm um, my heroes really really hardcore especially when I do not have the time to play I need to focus on the Dark Elixir so going ahead to upgrade the walls so I have 4 million elixirs stocked up so let's see we're going to use the elixir to upgrade the walls which really this is the first time I'm actually using elixir to upgrade walls as uh, I didn't farm any of my walls on my main account using a single elixir because uh, when Supercell uh, came out with the elixir update 
to use it on walls. They came out right after, not right after, but a few months, in fact, more than half a year after I actually maxed my base. So yeah, I mean, a lot of people ask me whether I was uh, regretting to actually use all my gold to actually upgrade the walls. But no, I mean, I could have actually uh, not uh, spent my time that much playing Clash because I would have uh, completed my walls quicker. But uh, definitely, I would, have complete, would not have completed my walls much earlier. So yeah, going ahead to get an extra 25 walls which now uh, we're going to upgrade them but before we upgrade them, I'm definitely going to upgrade those higher level walls first I'm going to keep those level 1 walls so that I could use them to control my cost so like what I say in cost management, I'm going to show you guys later but of course the only cost management that I could do is actually the gold the elixir basically I can't really do much but uh, there's a way to do it which I will show you guys next time in the next few episodes which I already have some ideas of how to do it especially in terms of trying to stock up your elixir um, using your barracks and also a bit of your decoration but it doesn't affect that much but you guys will actually know in the next few episodes so going back to upgrading the walls as you can see I have a few more uh, 100,000 gold left going to upgrade the walls and of course uh, the elixir I still have 2.3 million left the reason I have 2.3 million elixir left is because I have an upgrade in mind that I want to do which is the army camp so we're gonna get the army camp to the next level getting at five more extra housing spaces and of course it will take five days to upgrade so in that five days that's considered a long-term upgrade to me but not to worry that will actually uh, allow my other builders to have time to upgrade so now as you can see my walls I've completed seven level nine walls and uh, we're gonna upgrade the rest soon and uh, really thank you guys for adding me on game center as I've accumulated up to almost 400 friends right now this isn't updated but yeah I have 380 over friends ready right now for this account so do add me I mean there's only 120 slots left and of course uh, the attack wands for this particular season alone has reached to a thousand one hundred and two so yeah this is gonna be the end of the season season as in the league season so in 14 days managed to get a thousand one hundred and two attack wands of course there will be more because uh, this is only uh, there's still 12 hours left on the league but yeah I managed to complete uh, my farming uh, achievements which are the go grab and the elixir escapade three starring them and of course we're going to proceed on into farming dark elixir soon hoping to get the third star for the heroic highs too so yeah that's it for this uh, particular ep update episode hope you guys have enjoyed it as much as i have with that said i'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and flash on